Hi, my name is Vaughan Rivet, and um, what I want to show you today is a new product that I've recently been reading up about and um, having a look at. So um, this product is called eProductivity for Lotus Notes, and um, I've not installed it, I've not played with it, um, but I want to give it a go. So I'm going to show you what I'm doing. Um, now, I need you to bear in mind that um, I consider myself to be an extremely busy person. Okay, and one of the reasons I'm looking at this is because I need I know that I need to be more productive with what I'm doing. I've got a limited amount of time and I need to be able to do more with it. Okay, and, and as part of this, um, the whole reason with me playing around with this e-productivity um, for, for Lotus Notes is because of what it claims to be able to do. And part of that is a simple installation. So this is my first time ever looking at it. This web page that I'm looking at right now is the first time I've ever seen it. And I've been sent um, through. It's been sent through to me um, by the developer, and um, so you know I'm just having a look, and I'm going to give it a go. So what have we got here? Um, we can view some screenshots. We can experience it. We can download a demo. We can use it for 21 days at no cost. That sounds like what I want. So I go on here and I have a look. I've got another form template download checklist. I have successfully downloaded. That's fine. Okay. So now I enter my data, my first name, Vaughan, Rivet, um, work email, okay. So now I scroll down, what's he got here now? Um, download the latest templates. Please wait a few minutes after clicking on download for the download to begin. A few moments, sorry. Email productivity for Lotus Notes and e-productivity reference database. So I'm going to click on download. Okay, so it's grabbing this for me now, which is good. So I'm going to save that file and I will just save that to wherever it's going, probably my desktop. And we also grab that reference database as well. And then save file again. Now we've got here installation guides. So I click on 8x and above. And um, how to install it for mail. How to okay, I can see what's going on. That's good. So this is not quite step by step for everybody um, who might be watching this. Now we're still downloading the NTF template. So um, we'll wait for that to come along. But what I'm going to have to do is so that Lotus Notes can pick up um, where those, um, um, that those are a template, I need to actually store them in my data directory where my data resides. So if I just go to explore. And that, if I was going to deploy this to a lot of users, I just put it onto a server um, to the data directory. So Lotus Notes data. So I've got that open. And we're all ready, wait till this is finished downloading. Um, says there's less than a minute remaining. So I'll just close some of these tabs that I don't need to have open at the moment. The calendar, one tab. Okay, this, this is the way I like Lotus Notes to open, with nothing on my screen. Right, so apparently we have those now. So I wonder if we just drag and drop them. We can't do it from there. Mozilla. So here they are. So one of them there. Let's drag and drop it. And one of them there. Okay, now, knowing what's going to happen now, I'm going to go back there. Okay, so I should be able to right click on my mail file and go replace design e-productivity mail template there it is sitting there nicely okay and if I go and click on replace yes to that and through it goes it's doing its thing we trust it's doing its thing I can click on this little button here and it will show me the progress as it whizzes through lightning fast Completion. 
Right, so now if I open it, I should see. Get used to that. Trust that. We just put trust on a um, Fusion security alert. Oh, want another one. I'm sitting here waiting for nothing. Okay, we'll begin the setup process. You will be presented with various screens, each explaining the steps to be um, performed. Okay, continue. Okay, you may view the license, blah, 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 blah. Okay, I accept. Accept license and send confirmation. Sure. Okay, so it's gonna send a confirmation of that up to them. Right, please select the default profile. So this is the size of my screen. Mm, this is quite good. Okay, I guess I can just use default, save and continue. Okay. Oh, ah, after opening your mail, your, your mail opens, please choose the close and reopen that. Okay, so that's, we've just opened it and we'll close it and we'll open it again. Now it's thinking harder. Okay, so we've got a nice startup screen, online user's guide. Okay, I'll read most of the other stuff on the site. Start using it now. Well, there you go. We've got e-productivity now installed on my mail file. So if I have a look, the most important thing is that I can see my mail. So here I've got my sent box, my sent items. If I click on that, it's obviously doing some indexing on the server, this will get faster as I use it. So if I go to today, um, you have changed, and do you want to process these now? Oh, this is the first time I've used these, so let's say yes. Okay, you've uncategorized items. Do you want to process these now? Yes. Okay, so I've got one unclassified item. Now, if I open that, Okay, now I can classify it, I can put the time. This is the first time I've used this. So that one there, I'm gonna be, um, when I'm at my computer. Okay, so save and close. Okay, so that's done. Okay, so that's all good. Okay, now it's starting to do that there for me as well which is which is really good now um my email this is showing my inbox when i click on email so that's where my inbox is so i needn't go looking for that right now so that's how easy it is to install this application there you go